ricotta cheese, some hamburger meat, and some prego. Hamburger meat? Hey, Rodo, what should we make for dinner today? Let's make an oven baked spaghetti. Spaghetti. Wait, wait. They cut the spaghetti in half. <laughs> so we're gonna do uncooked spaghetti, marinara. Marinara? What's marinara? Marinara? What's marinara? Cover it with water so that. This is a nightmare. <laughs> That's not something I want you to see, guys. Hi. Hi, and welcome back to Vincenzo's Play reaction videos. And today I'm reacting to TikTok most popular pasta videos. Are you ready? The first video I'm reacting to it's Manicotti, watched by 6 million people. 752 likes, 6,000 comments. Wow, wow, wow. Let's watch it. Tonight we are cooking manicotti for my family of eight. It is one of the Okay, she cannot say manicotti, but that's okay. Let's see why she became famous. I wanna be famous too. The fastest, easiest recipes that I have. Take that ricotta cheese to me is not a ricotta cheese I would choose. I wanna get fresh ricotta. But not from a, an ice cream tub. No, no, no. Some assorted white cheeses, mozzarella, Italian style. Um. Try to be away from Italian style. You want the real Italian. Shredded mozzarella, guys, it's plastic. It's fake. Avoid it. Get the mozzarella, break it with your hands. Please, I can't stress this enough. Do not use shredded mozzarella. Why? Bad quality. Plastic, that's what I call it, plastic cheese. Shred it yourself. Um, Parmesan, stuff like that. And some ricotta cheese, some hamburger meat, and some prego. Hamburger meat? And what's a prego? Is that what I think it is? That prego is that detergent. That, that looks like a detergent bottle to me. And you call it a sauce? Mm, guys, please stop buying this stuff. Please stop. First, we're gonna boil some water for our noodles. Now, while the water gets ready to boil, I'm gonna take the cheese. I'm gonna add it into this bag. And mix it up. I, I guess I see what she's doing. Good technique to mix everything. Good technique. In the bag. And then season this. Now, once you season, and all of that in the bag. I use Italian seasoning and salt and pepper because I'm going to... What's Italian seasoning? We don't have Italian seasoning. What are you saying to me? If a Japanese wants to use thyme or marjoram, you call it Italian seasoning? Oregano? Herbs are herbs. They're everywhere in the world. When you mix them together, they're herbs. They're not Italian or French or Japanese. To add a lot more seasoning to my sauce and my meat once I cook that. So the sauce add. I'm just gonna mix this around for now. Cook your noodles till they're almost done. Take them out. Cook your hamburger meat. Season the hell out of it. What's hamburger meat? I need to know, guys. I need to know. What's hamburger meat? Huh? Would oh, you buy hamburger meat already done? Because I don't understand. I've never done this before. Normally I buy my burger patties or I buy the meat and I make my own burgers. A burger meat? I don't know. Explain to me, please. I'm ignorant. Put your sauce in a pan and add your meat. Season it a little more. Now get your favorite pan, line it with your sauce. Let's get our noodles ready. Now we are going to take... But why do you call it noodles? I mean, for me, noodles are like spaghetti or like Chinese noodles. But Nicotti can be noodles. I mean, please explain this to me because I don't know how to talk anymore. I mean, do, why, you're not teaching me English. Noodles is noodles. Manicotti are manicotti. If you don't want to call it manicotti, call them cannelloni. Call it uh, rolled pasta, but noodles? I don't know. Take our cheese in the bag and our noodle, and we're just going to. Sleep. So that's you're using the cannoli technique, okay? But look what you're doing when you pipe it. When you pipe it, you, what you want to do? You want to have the piping bag touching one side of the pasta, so when you, when it goes in, it doesn't go in and out. It's touching the surface, okay? Okay, so you're putting pressure on the surface 
and the cream comes out more attached to the surface and it goes to the other side attached to the surface like if, imagine this this is the hole okay this is the hole and i'm gonna put this right in like that it goes out but if instead if i if i put pressure on this side like this I put pressure on this side the cream has to go like this to get out oh, you know what i mean like it's got more pressure to get out and that way you get to feel the manicotto but if you go like this what's the point to do it That's better. <laughs> oh, no, no. We're gonna put sauce on top. Now that it's covered with sauce, we are going to bake it at about 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, after you've baked it for about 20 to 25 minutes, you take it out of the oven, add cheese to the top, put it back in for about another five minutes, and wait till the top cheese is melted, pull it out, serve it with some sides to your family. Right, so that was the dish. Six million people watch it, she's very famous. You're telling me that if I wanna be famous on TikTok and everywhere else, I need to make this food? What do I need to do then? You tell me, do I need to do that? Do you want me to completely change so I can have 10 million followers on TikTok, Instagram, every, everywhere else? I'm happy with my 100, almost 100,000 followers on Instagram, my 700,000 on YouTube or whatever we have, almost 1 million on Facebook. I'm happy by doing what I'm doing. This, why, does, why do people watch this? What do you learn from this? Please tell me, I need to learn. Because if you tell me the reason, and the reason is good, I start doing, I start doing this. No sense food. Yeah, why not? I have a family to feed. If I can become famous like this, I do it. Now, the next video we're watching, they are two sisters, I believe, or best friends. They're very popular, over 1 million followers on TikTok, and now they're growing on Instagram. This is mad, okay? Oven baked pasta, 4.9 million likes. Okay? Okay? Let's watch it. Hey, Rodo, what should we make for dinner today? Let's make an oven baked spaghetti. Spaghetti. Very sexy voice. I guess that's the reason why it got 4.9 million likes. The sexy voice. Okay, I can get down with that. Tell me more. Wait, wait. They cut the spaghetti in half. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, spaghetti. They killed the spaghetti. They killed the spaghetti. Is that prego sauce? Is that prego again? But why is this prego so famous? Where is this prego from? Huh? More. So we're gonna do uncooked spaghetti, marinara. Marinara? What's marinara? Marinara? What's marinara? Marinara! A basil sauce. Call it basil sauce. Marinara? I have never heard about marinara. For us in Italy, marinara sauce, marinara sauce, it's got seafood in it. I don't see seafood. Where is the seafood? Onion. Onion, garlic. Garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning or what's Italian seasoning what's Italian seasoning it's a mix of herbs why it call it an Italian seasoning huh why or oregano oh, yes that's a great idea and then cover it with water so that this is a nightmare what is this this is a broth Pasta broth, what are you doing? We can obviously cook. Yes, but we have to mix it really well to make sure that the spaghetti noodles don't stick, stick together. together. This must be a joke. I mean, this must be a joke. Look on the side here, they have a, they've written recipe as well. Do, do you believe this is a recipe? Do you believe this is something that people make? Please tell me that this is a joke because if 4.9 million people would like this, I don't understand where we're going. I don't understand how we guys, how you are thinking the future is gonna be a bright future. I don't see a bright future ahead. I see a mess in this in this future because this is a mess. Yes, and then cover it and then bake it. Yeah, and then halfway through we'll mix it just to make sure it doesn't stick. Oh yeah, to make sure it doesn't stick. Guys, I like creativity, I like innovation. But there is nothing good about this. What's the problem for you to boil the pasta in a pot and cook the ingredients in the other, in a, in a pan? Why is it so difficult? 
Uh, why it's so difficult? Why do you need to do this? How do you control the cooking of the pasta? The pasta is probably going to be mushy if you cook it for that long. But at the same time, how do you give flavors to your onion and garlic by boiling it like that way? It's not a broth. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. Okay, I like that idea. And then after that, we got to add a topping. We can't just leave it like this. Uh, mozzarella cheese. Well, is this a pizza now? Is this a pizza? Or you're making uh, gnocchi la sorrentina? What are the gnocchi? I, I don't understand. Hello? Yes, okay, I'm, I'm so for this. And then rebake it, so then what happens? So we'll get nice and like bubbly. And okay, if you look at this now, it looks fantastic. Okay, wow, I don't know what's underneath. The mozzarella covered everything. It looks fantastic. Ah, oh, let's try, let's have it. But I know what's underneath. Guys, we're not trying to be bullies here. I'm not a bully. I'm just trying to understand. I'm struggling to understand what do people want? What do you want? How do you want to eat? How do you want to go to the toilet when you eat this? How do you want to spend the rest of your life? Ah, please, I need to know. I need to know if I need to stop doing my videos. I need to stop what it's up. I need to understand. I'm really confused. Do we need to keep watching this? Let's try. Let's try. Yes, mm -mm -mm. yes I like that idea. Okay, let's twirl the spaghetti. And, and get this, out. oh my God. Yes. Talk about easy, delicious, and so damn good. They are really serious. These guys, these girls are serious. I just want to show you one more thing before we go. We go to the next video because there's nothing else to say. Look at the quality of this spaghetti. Look how orange the spaghetti are. Or oh, half ah, spaghetti, dead spaghetti. Orange spaghetti. Spaghetti, good quality pasta should be almost white, okay? This pasta is orange. This is not good for you. It is not good for you. When it's orange like this, it means that it's very cheap quality ingredients, I assuming, but it has been dried at a very high temperatures for a short time, which means you destroy all the proteins of the fiber. When, when you buy dry pasta like spaghetti, you want them to be as light as possible because it means that it was dried at low temperatures over a few days or a longer time. Okay, this pasta, it doesn't do any good. Okay, not good for you. I hope you learn. Spaghetti. We're making it for crap, right? So we oh my God, here we go with a friend. Do you remember this girl, huh? When she did the spaghetti meatballs with prego sauce on the bench top? Here we go again. We're making it for crap, right? Wait, wait, she's making ultimate dinner hack. Okay, so it's another pasta again. Let's see. 4,900 likes. Thank God there's no millions. I want to make sure that all of the noodles. And, and it, everything is noodles. Tagliatelle is noodles, spaghetti noodles, tortellini noodles, magnicotti noodles. It's, it's noodles. So easy to say. How lazy are you for calling everything noodles? Tomorrow I'm gonna call everyone George. I go out, hey George, hi George. All the women will be called, I don't know, Marianne. Hello Marianne, hello Marianne. We're gonna have a, a word of Marianne and George. How boring would that be, huh? Everyone is George and Marianne. All the noodles just be everywhere. Probably about, see that line right there? Okay. So all of my friends are coming over and this is the... It's Prego, again Prego. This is a, a Prego video, home style Fredo Prego. Guys, where is this Prego made? Who buys Prego and why do you buy Prego? Write in the comment below. Best way to feed a crowd. Because you want... Best way to feed a crowd? Why, do you, do you have a crowd coming to your place for dinner? Because the, the, that's a problem. I mean, who is this crowd? Do you have a zombies to come for dinner? Who comes? What's the crowd that comes to your house? I want to know because I have no crowds coming to my house and I think my house smells good, okay? I think I eat good food, but there must be something going on if nobody comes to my house and the crowds come to yours. A bite of chicken in every bite, right? Obviously. That's what chicken is. That chicken is dry, like the noodles. Fredo is. So then what I like to do is I like to just take a breadstick. What is that? Is it a hot dog? Is that, a, is that a hot dog? Oh, oh yummy! Yummy? Do you see all of it oozing out? 
nice. It's going to be so and good. And then the breadsticks that are like kind of Oh, the, the breadsticks, but they look like something else. But let me tell you, <laughs> they are putting the sticks through that. I'm not saying anything else. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> That's not something I want you to see, guys. This is not good. I leave it to you, to your imagination. <laughs> Okay, last video of the day. Please, 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 TikTok, show me something good, please. Oh, here we go. Manicotti again. This pasta technique changes everything. Millions and millions of views. Oh, well, well, you can read the comments later on. Go and find these people on TikTok. But you tell me, do I have to delete my TikTok so I can go and sleep at night? What do I do? I'm getting na TikTok nightmares. Let's watch this. Okay. This is just regular. Okay. okay. And you're going to take Velveeta, a whole block. Here we go with the orange cheese again. What is that? That's the same orange like the pasta. It's matching. We have hot dog in manicotti. Hot dog in manicotti. <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay for kids, I understand. Because if you're mature enough, you know that it's not good, right? Okay, so it's good for kids. We've got orange cheese. Orange, very poor quality pasta. What's next? And you're just gonna cut it right on to Oh, wow. Top. Look at that. That looks really nice. Okay, great. Look at the way it all fits now. Yeah, way. it's beautiful, right? Oh, she's creating a piece of art. I mean, call Picasso, please. Call, call Giotto and get the measurements. Then you take milk. Milk? Is this a breakfast cereal? Milk? Shake it. Oh my God, that's the same girl from the toilet. That's the same girl from the toilet, from the punch in the toilet. Oh my God, it's the same girl. I don't know if we should keep watching this. Okay, you wanna make sure you cover. Ah! Oh yeah. Pop that right in the oven. Oh no, we can't keep watching this. <laughs> we can't. Melted all over the pasta. Show me. The pasta is nice and soft. Show me. The hot dogs are perfectly cooked inside. Wow! Look. Okay. It's burned. It's not perfectly cooked. It's burned. It's completely burned. Did you forget the pasta in the oven? Huh? Did you go and make your punch in a toilet and forgot the pasta in the oven? Look at this. Okay. And perfectly. Slice it down the middle, slice it. Stop using the word perfectly. There is nothing perfect in this video. Nothing perfect. We're gonna stop watching this. We'll stop it. Stop it. Guys, I need to stop it. Enough. There's nothing else to react to, okay? Please make pasta the right way. Follow my channel and other legit channels out there. YouTube is a good resource to find good stuff. TikTok, I'm still not sure about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. But if I need to become famous and I need to do this to become famous, I'm gonna do it, okay? I'll leave this up to you. You make the decision. You say, Vincenzo, make these videos so you go viral, and you become famous, and I can buy a Ferrari for my son. Or tell me, stay real, keep doing what you're doing, because we love you. And I will, okay? I'll leave this up to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm sorry you have to go through this. I'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. Hey, Ora. We go and have a glass of wine. Vincenzo's Plate. Spaghetti.